Vape is dangerous. Can you believe that, James? Vape is dangerous. Can you believe that chemicals you can buy for a dollar that you can't even name, 40 or 50 chemicals that you've never heard of, you can't name, you don't know where they come from, all combined to try and taste like fucking watermelon that you set on fire electronically and inhale deep into your lungs the most unnatural chemicals you can possibly think of produced cheaply in China is dangerous for you? Can you believe that? So how do I supplement the knowledge that books provide and how did I become such a genius? Well, there's two answers to that question. One, I don't think books provide knowledge. Books provide information, but information is not knowledge. My kickboxing coach used to say to me, there's one way to learn a lesson, the hard way. And there's only one other way to learn a lesson, the harder way. And it's absolutely true. You have to feel it to believe it. When I made the video, I really disliked Jake Paul. Now, I don't dislike him, I understand him. I wanna make something clear, I would still kick the living fuck out of Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. I'm not some washed up UFC fighter, I'm not smaller than him. I would beat the living shit out of him. And if he wants to fight, I'll fight him any day of the week and I'll fucking wreck him and he knows that. I was telling this to some person, like, well you got a haircut? I was like, no, I'm not a haircut, I've got hair. But I'll go to my barber and if he's busy, I'll go to some other barber. And if he cuts it, at the end when he gets the mirror out and goes, is that okay? I have never once said no. I've never once been like, um, can you, uh, uh can you give me a blowjob? Female. are barely sentient. Even the good ones, in fact, especially the good ones, you're a good female. You grow up, you listen to your father, so you're about a teenager. Then once you're a teenager, you start watching the Disney Channel and Netflix. Then you listen to society, start to break the rules, be a bit of a rebel. Now you listen to society. Then you meet a man. Now that's one of two men. He's either a strong-framed man or a weak-framed man. If he's a weak-framed man, you keep society's ideas. If he's a strong framed man, you now adopt all the ideas of your man. Because any girl who's with a... My scenario, me being rich, is kind of different than most people who are rich. Because there's a lot of people who are rich, like family, money, all this kind of stuff. But me, I did it all by myself. So I've got a problem which is kind of unique to my wealth. And the problem is that I am at the top of the tree. I'm at the very, very tip top of the food chain. And what's happened is, basically anyone I interact with, ever, wants something from me. Even if it's just my time, they want something. I don't think happiness as an index is a healthy view for a man to have on life success. Women are different. Women just want to be happy, right? Women just want to smile. They don't care how, they don't care if they deserve it or not. As long as they get to smile, women are happy, that's women. But I think for a man, if you're waking up and going, oh, am I happy, am I not? You're looking at life wrong. Don't like my videos, don't watch them. Yeah, they're all over the internet because I'm a bad boy. <sighs> and you need to be more misogynistic. This woman just spilled my coffee. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! Bring some paper towels! We're doing a fucking podcast! <laughs>